Hi, my name is Donna and this is Kingsley, my king parrot. Isn't it pretty? He's so beautiful. In today's video, I'm very excited to share with you. I am going to be showing you how to collect, sanitize several different ways and debark branches from outside so you can bring them inside for your pet birds. Now this is the first in my series. I'm going to make a few videos about perches and put them into a playlist as I couldn't make a whole video otherwise it'd be like hours long so this is just part one so make sure if you haven't subscribed make sure you do so you don't miss the future videos and when those videos are ready I will be putting the link down below in the description and the card above at the end for the end screen um, but this is my first one so just uh, if you're watching this like right away when I post it the links won't be there until I make the next video so make sure you stay tuned has purchased are very very important for your birds they stand on their feet all their lives and they need several different types of perches so anyways hope you enjoy and hope you learn something so i'm going to get started the first thing you want to do is look for bird safe trees not all trees are safe for our pet birds i will put a link down below of some safe trees for birds but make sure you always research the tree that you're going to be cutting to make sure it's safe for your bird avoid using trees that have been sprayed with pesticides pesticides includes herbicides insecticides fungicides dormant spray and miticides avoid trees from the side of a highway or a railroad since they are likely been treated with herbicides Avoid trees that have fungus on them as they can produce toxins. One of my trees in my front yard has some fungus on it and we actually sprayed it last year with a dormant spray so I would never use that tree. It's actually a red maple and red maple are toxic to birds. The best time to find branches is after a storm. If it's a bad storm, there'll be branches that fall from a tree that you can use. Just make sure you always know what kind of tree it is or if a tree needs to be pruned. You can go to the country and find some branches. Sometimes the tree's limbs are, are bent or broken. You can take from there. Just make sure you're, you're able to do that. Some places do not allow you to take anything from nature. And during pruning season, you can find lots of branches on your neighbor's yard ready for pickup. You can always ask them if you can take their branches, but always find out what kind of tree it is. In this demonstration, I am cutting my silver maple. Well, actually, it's not me. It's my husband doing the sawing. So you're going to need a saw and some pruners or anything that cuts trees. Always be careful when using sharp tools. There'll be a lot of cutting and pruning. This is my all the branches that have been cut from my tree. It really needed to be pruned. So all the branches have been clipped from the tree. And now it's time to clean up the branches. So still some more sawing and some more pruning. And here I am taking off all the leaves. You can leave the leaves if you want to. I'm going to be talking about that a little bit later. But I decided to cut off all the leaves. And so what I'm doing is just trimming off all the small branches, all the leaves, just to make, you know, one even branch. And I'm going to cut that even smaller as it's way too long. And these are all the branches that I get to clean disinfect and debark some of them. I will be going through some methods on how to clean, disinfect and debark your branches. This is method number one. Place your branches on a surface that can be cleaned easily. I put them in the bottom of my bathtub and then what I'm doing is I'm spraying them with pure alcohol. Now alcohol can dry pretty fast. I just uh, turn the branches around and spray the opposite side. And I found that they just kept drying, so I just kept uh, saturating the branches with alcohol. Rubbing alcohol can clean and disinfect. It's effective against most, but not all, pathogens. You can find rubbing alcohol at pharmacies or online, and I can also put a link down below in my description. Put the perches outside to dry in the direct hot sunlight. The natural sunlight is a disinfectant. It's best to let them dry in the sun for several days or a week or even longer. Bring them in in the evening or if it rains. Boiling is a great way to get the bark off the branches. Now if you have raccoons that live in your trees, 
they can carry a deadly virus, and if transmitted to your birds, it can cause death. So boiling the perches can also kill the virus and remove the bark. It's best to boil for around two hours. Now my pot wasn't so big. I wish I had a large one because I really love boiling the branches. As you'll see how the bark comes off later on. Um, what I did was I just kept turning them around. I used a tong as obviously the water is hot. You always want to use caution when you're around power tools or anything hot like boiling water. So I used my tong so my fingers wouldn't get burned. And I just kept doing this every few minutes. So I was testing my branches to see how long they would boil for and this was after an hour. I'm using a window scraper which will help me remove the bark. But you really want the bark to be soft enough so it can just peel right off without having to struggle like I was. I found it wasn't really ready yet. So you're supposed to just be able to peel like that but I found it was kind of hard. But anyways look at this one. This one is ready. Oh yes. Is so satisfying to peel this bark. I can do this all day long. Look at this. And if you boil it for even longer, I'm sure it'll just peel all off in one piece possibly. But look, this was so much fun. And I really loved it. Look at it. Yeah, I'm really enjoying myself. You can tell. <gasps> and look at the branches. Here they are. So you can see the first one right here. This is where I left marks in the branch. So you really don't even really need the scraper. But sometimes you need it just to start, you know, just to get it going but um, the third branch came off like a charm. Method number two. Put your branches in the bathtub and give them a good rinse off. Then scrub them with soap and water. Here I'm just using dish soap. I'm really lathering it up and scrubbing them really well. I'm just using a sponge. Scrubbing the branches will take off any surface dirt. Then give the branches a good rinse off. Vrocon is a safe product to use to clean your birds' uh, cages, perches, toys, and it can kill bacteria, viruses, fungus, and spores. It's best to remove your pets while using Vercon and use gloves and a mask because there is a smell to it. And it does say to remove the animals before you use this product. This one is a powder and you mix it with water. You just have to follow the directions. I measured out the right amount of water to the right amount of Vercon and put it in this spray bottle to shake it up to get it going. And I just saturated all the branches. And this is great for if you do not want to take the bark off of the branches. Although this product is great for killing viruses and bacteria, it doesn't kill all of them. So just wherever you live in what area, find out what is going on with your trees. And you know, you can read the back, read all about the Vercon, what viruses and diseases it kills. And then if it works for you, you can use this product. And then let them sit out in the sun as the natural sunlight is a disinfectant. You can leave it out there for several days to a week to two weeks to even longer. Just remember to bring in the branches if it's going to rain or bring them in the night if you got the dew. You don't want to get them wet and have to start all over again. And it's best to put them out in the middle of summer. Here in Ontario, Canada, between May and October is best. But then the middle of the summer is even better. Method number three. Put your branches in the tub. Give them a good rinse and a good scrubbing with soap and water. Give them a good rinse. You can see the dirt coming off here. Fill the tub with water and add some vinegar. Vinegar can kill some bacteria and some viruses. A vinegar solution is the most popular disinfectant amongst bird owners. It's non-toxic and readily available and inexpensive option for cleaning bird perches or cages or anything in the bird cage. Since the branches float, I had to keep spinning them around as they would dry out on the top. I just spin them every hour or so. I let the branches soak overnight and then I drained the water and gave them a good rinsing. Then I put them out in the sun to dry as the sunlight is a natural disinfectant. I let them dry in the sun for about one week. 
Then I'm going to bake them. Now baking is great if you want to leave the bark on. And this is where you can leave the leaves on as well. If you didn't want to remove the leaves, you can actually put them in the oven and bake them. And the birds can chew on the leaves. I bake them at 200 degrees Fahrenheit for two hours. It's best to keep an eye on the stove as fire is a possibility. After two hours, their branches are ready. Look, they even look like a more golden color. And I had to wear my oven glove. Of course, those are hot, so don't use your bare hands if you're going to bake your perches. Now I just let them cool off before I do anything else with the branches. Method number four. Dump all the branches into the tub. I got quite a few branches. I then filled the tub with water. Then I added some bleach. I have quite a bit of water, so I added quite a bit of bleach. Now bleach is toxic to birds, so you don't want them in the same room with you when you're using bleach. Usually this is done in a bathroom. You can shut the door, turn on the exhaust fan, open the windows. I wore a mask, has the breathing in and you know, it's not very healthy for yourself. So keep your birds and animals away when you're doing the bleach and water method. And you got to stir them around so that they don't dry out because they float. So they will dry out on if they're just sitting on top of the water. I soak these for about 36 hours, the longer the better, as it's easier for the bark to come off. Bleach kills bacteria, fungi, and viruses. It's a stronger disinfectant than the vinegar. I tested the branches after 24 hours to see how loose the bark was, and again, I'm using a window scraper. But as you can see, I'm having a little bit of a hard time. It does pull off, but you can see how it's kind of tight. So if it doesn't work, just put it back in the water until all the bark comes off like this. Look at this. This is nice. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this is great. I tell you, this is my new job. Debarking branches. It's like peeling a banana. This is so satisfying, isn't it? Some branches needed a little help by just carving out a little piece at the end and then grabbing it. Your nails will get ruined just like mine did from always pulling and working with your nails. So that's why I used a window scraper or any kind of blade, but always be careful, of course. I did cut myself once, so I'm just warning you, be careful. You can definitely cut yourself. Look at this, look at this. A beautiful perch. Then I drained out the water. This still has bleach in it. And I just put something over the drain to catch all the little pieces of bark. You don't want that all going down your drain. Then I gave them a good rinse. I then soaked them again in clean water for about two hours to get rid of the bleach. And then I put them all outside in the bright sun. The sun is a natural disinfectant, like I mentioned before, and it'll dissipate the bleach. It's best to avoid putting your branches on the ground to dry or under a tree as you don't want birds up there, you know, pooping on them or anything overhanging like a roof. You want to put them in a nice open area to dry. The longer the better. As remember, the sun is a natural disinfectant. I found that boiling the branches was the quickest way to remove the bark as it just took around two hours and the bark came off very easily. Soaking the branches in bleach and water did remove the bark as well. The longer you let them soak, the easier the bark will come off. I believe the safest way to use branches from outside is to remove the bark. That way you don't have to worry about any bugs or viruses or bacteria on the perches, especially if you have raccoons in your area. 
I will put links down below in the descriptions for all these products that I used in my video, except for the branches. You have to find those yourself. And check out my Amazon store for all your pet bird needs. Click on the videos on the screen for more pet bird videos and make sure to subscribe so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. Thanks for watching.